The last time I joined environmental health workers at the Accra Metropolitan Assembly to bury bodies of persons who died from COVID-19 complications, Ghana's case count stood at 39,642 confirmed cases, with 206 deaths on August 6, 2020. That day, six more bodies were buried, bringing the total number buried to 97. The environmental health workers were overstretched with little resources to work with, and they had not benefited from government's promised incentives for frontline health workers. Six months on, the figures have more than tripled. Deaths now more than 570, and between January 1 and February 18, 35 bodies had been buried with an outstanding 67. The numbers continue to rise and authorities here are having to levy relatives of deceased persons to acquire PPEs to conduct burials. We still have a huge issue with the PPEs. Sometimes we have to tax family members to even purchase PPEs for us to use for the burial because the national buffer stock is not forthcoming. But it's not been all gloomy. Oh, the incentive, yes, now we've been taken care of and then we have been rolled on. Our thanks to go to the president for honoring our 50% allowance to the burial, the burial team all over the assemblies that have taken part in this particular burial since the onset of this pandemic. On the field, it's getting more tedious. I have seen so much on my visits here to know. Fiscal job needs a lot of energy. And every time that we come, it means that we add extra energy to be able to lift the bodies. It is a job that we are trained to do. So once we are trained to do, we face the challenge and make sure that we do the work to the satisfaction of everybody who is a Ghanaian and possibly fall victim of this particular incident. This vast expanse of land you see here inside the Infectious Diseases Cemetery at Awudome has just been cleared to host the many hundreds of bodies that are yet to be buried. Each day you disregard the protocols and live recklessly. You live on them a bedding to do this every other time, to bring bodies here, to bury under strict supervision because of the nature of a disease you are fighting. Kamala Adum, TV3 News, Awudome. Mm -hmm.